Okay, here is a book that my, ki my three boys liked when they were little. So it's been around a long time because they are 19, 23, and 27. <laughs> so here's the cover of the book, and here's the back of the book, and here is the title of the book is if you give a mouse a cookie and the author is Laura Jove Numeroff and the picture is the illustrator is Felicia Bound. Here's the title page. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read him a story from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of them his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. With a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator. Which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it.
the end. Today we're going to sing the wheels and the bus and do a felt board story. But first, I'm going to teach you the hand and body motions for it. When we sing the wheels on the bus go round and round, we do our arms like the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Okay, the next verse is the doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. Okay, for the wipers we go. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. For the signals we go. The signals on the bus go blink, blink, blink. For the horn on the bus, we take our hand and we go beep, beep, beep. For the, for the motor on the bus, you take your foot and you go vroom, vroom, vroom. For the people on the bus, you say the people on the bus go up and down, up and down. Beep. The babies on the bus, you take your hands, you ball them up, and you pretend like you're crying. The babies on the bus go wham, wham, wham. For mommies on the bus, you take your finger and you go shh, shh, shh. For daddies on the bus, you say, I love you, I love you. So now we're going to sing wheels on the bus and you know all the motions. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And remember to do all the motions I taught you what do the felt board.
did you enjoy the song? And I hope you did all the hand motions so we can sing it again next time. I love you. Okay, to, here we're going to um, explore the letters we have for this week. Here we have the letter F. F is for fish and food and frog and friend and family and flower. See the fish? Say fa, fa. Fa is for friend. Okay, here we have the letter G. G is for goat, gum, grasshopper, green, game, grape, and guitar. Say guh, guh. Okay, here we have the letter H. H is for hat. Can you say ha, huh, ha? Huh? For hat, H is for head, hair, horse, happy, hammer, and home. This is the letter I. I is for, can you say eh, eh? I is for igloo, ice cream, injury, internet, and iguana. Here we have the letter J. J is for J. Can you say J? Jacks, jello, jumping, jaguar, and juice. J. Here we're going to teach you a new song. And the new song goes to the tune of This Old Man. And first we're going to focus on two words that the song has often in it. And it's the words he and and. Also, we're going to focus on words that rhyme in the song and pick those out together. Okay. The title of the song is Monster Food. Okay, here we go. He is Nate, he can't wait to gobble up what's on his plate. Dirty socks and rocks and worms and sticky tape. He thinks monster food is great. He is Nate, he can't wait to gobble up what's on his plate. Dirty socks and rocks and worms and sticky tape he thinks monster food is great okay the words we're going to pick out in this song are he and and so first we have a he here here and then and we have the words and we have it and here and here. So let's go ahead and sing the song again. He is Nate. He can't wait to gobble up what's on his plate. Dirty socks and rocks and worms and sticky tape. He thinks monster food is great. Now we're going to pick out the rhyming words. Nate and wait and plate. Do you recognize the end of the words? Nate, wait, plate. And the other words that rhyme are rocks, socks. Hear the ending of the words? Rocks, socks. Well, I hope you enjoyed our new song because this is a new song for Miss Nicole. Today's the first day I've sung it before.